Hi everybody, this is Angelo Quinones, and I want to read from a very special booklet, okay, that's part of a great series. This booklet is entitled The Facts on Halloween, The Facts on Halloween by John Ankerberg and John Weldon, and this is one of the toughest, his name, Dylan Burroughs, okay, B-U-R-R-O-U-G-H-S, and you can get this booklet, like all the booklets on the series, the Facts on series, you can get it in Amazon.com. Let's jump straight to chapter 1, which is on page 9, chapter 1, entitled, What is the Origin of Halloween? And I hope everybody is doing well. Quote, in A.D. 835, Pope Gregory IV designated November the 1st, okay, check this out, November the 1st as All Saints Day or All Hallows Day. In parentheses it says over here, the term hollow refers to saints. The night before November the 1st, October the 31st, known as All Hallows Evening, All Hallows Evening. How did we get the term Halloween? Meaning, how do we get the term Halloween out of that? He's trying to say, or they're trying to say. Returning text. Look at the name called All Hallows Evening. If we drop the word all, meaning A-L-L, -L, and the S, okay, on hollows, and the V and I-N-G on evening, the result spells Halloween. Long before the church gave this name to the evening, before All Saints Day, a celebration in remembrance, meaning this was a celebration in remembrance to the saints and martyred saints, it had been uh, celebrated in various ways in many places around the world. The book Every Day's A Holiday accurately observes that uh, Halloween will probably combines more folk, F-O-L-K, folk customs of uh, the world around than will ever be sorted out. And let me just skip. And it says over here, the Druids. Now this is another section, the Druids. D-R-U-I-D-S, D with capital. Quote, it is generally agreed by historians that Halloween, okay, came to take the place of a special day celebrated by the um, by the ancient Druids. D R U I D S. The Druids were the educated or priestly class. The C L A S S, priestly class of the Celtic. The C E L T I C. The Celtic religion. The Celts themselves were the first Aryan, that's A-R-Y-A-N, people who came from Asia to settle in Europe. In fact, we can see certain similarities between Druidism, as D-R-U-I-D-I-S-M, and the religion of India. Now... Let's turn to page and go to page 10. Celtic religion. Okay, now it says over here, presided over or preceded over by, presided over the Druids, the priestly order presents beliefs in various nature deities and certain ceremonial or ceremonies and practices that are similar to those of Indian religion. The insular, I-N-S-U-L-A-R, Celts, and the people of India also share certain similarities of language and culture. Thus, indicating a common heritage. 
For example, the Indian pagan gods, that's with a small g of course, Siva, that's capital S and then small I-V-A, uh, Pasupati, that's P-A-S-U-P-A-T-I, in parentheses it says over here, Lord, with a small L, of the animals, in the parentheses, and Savitier, okay, and Savitar, S-A-V-I-T-R, in parentheses it says over here, God of the Sun, that's S-U-N, God of the Sun, are similar to the Celtic gods, Sir Nanas, that's C-E-R-N-U-N-N-O-S, a horned god who appears in a yoga position. And the god, Lug, that's L-U-G, or Lugus, L-U-G-U-S. In parentheses, it says over here, per perhaps, originally, a sun god, that's S-U-N. As in uh, Hinduism, okay, the Druids also believe in reincarnation. may be reborn as in animals. the... The Celtic peoples the lived in northern France throughout the United Kingdom and in Ireland. They engaged in occult, that's O-C-C-U-L-T, in occult acts, worshipped nature, and gave nature uh, supernatural, supernatural animalistic qualities certain trees as t-r-e-e-s or plants such as oak trees and mistletoe as well over here were given great spiritual significance and parentheses it says over here according to the celtic authority lewis that's l-e-w-i-s spence s-p-e-n-c-e -E, the original meaning of the term druid, D-R-U-I-D, implies a priest of the oak cult, okay? Interestingly, it has been claimed that 90% of the world uh, sometimes uh, mysterious crop circles lie within the geographical uh, proximity of the ancient and possibly druidic ruins of Stonehenge. At least some of these phenomena may be considered supernatural. Now, there's a section here entitled, What is the Occult? What is the Occult? Quote, Religious writers often use the word occult, but what does it mean? According to the Oxford American Dictionary, occult can be defined as, number one, secret, hidden, except from those with more than, I have to go to the next page, page 11, uh, more than ordinary knowledge. Number two, involving the supernatural occult powers. The occult involves the world of the supernatural, mystical or magical. In everyday usage, occult usually is used to refer to spiritual uh, practices that focus on secret knowledge gained through uh, personal experience or attempts to communicate with spirits. The term is used in reference to everything from ancient earth religions to modern 
uh, conversations about ghosts and hauntings. The Celts worshipped the sun god, that's what is small g, Belenus, B-E-L-E-N-U-S, especially on Beltane, B-E-L-T-A-N-E, May the 1st. And they worshipped another god. Apparently the Lord, with a small l, the Lord of Death or the Lord of the Dead. On Samhain, and in parentheses it says over here pronounced Sawin, S-S-O-W-W-E-N, by uh, Wiccans, it says over here, October the 31st, Beltane, okay, in parentheses it says over here, Fire of Bell, okay, was the time of the summer festival, while Samhain, or Samhain, was the time of the winter festival. Human sacrifices was offered during both occasions according to Julius Caesar in his commentary and other sources. It says the Celts believed they were descended from the god Dis, that's capital D-I-S, the god Dis, a tradition handed down from the Druids. Dis, that's D-I-S, was the Roman name for the god of the dead, that's D-E-A-D. Of the 400 names of Celtic gods, known Belenus, B-E-L-E-N-U-S, is uh, mentioned most often. Samhain, and it's really pronounced Sawin, so pronounce it Sawin, even though it's spelled out S-A-M-H-A-I-N, for some reason, uh, is perfectly pronounced as Sawin, okay? It says over here, Samhain, pronounced Sawin as the specific name of the Lord of Death is uncertain, but it is possible that the Lord of Death was the chief Druid deity. Will follow, it says over here, will follow the common practice of other authors on this issue and refer to this deity by the name Samhain or Sawin. Now we come to another section entitled uh, Dru festivals okay the Celts and their Druid uh, priests began their new year on November the 1st which marked the beginning of winter they apparently believed that on October the 31st the night before the, uh, their new year and the last day of the old year Samhain or Sawin gathered the souls of the evil dead who had been condemned to enter the bodies of animals he then decided what animals form what animal forms they would take for the next year the souls of the good dead were reincarnated as humans the druids also believed that uh, the punishment of the evil dead could be lightened by sacrifices prayers and gifts to Samhain or Sawin.